This guy already crashed and burned with the law several times. And some of his customers tell me it's going to take more than Bondo to repair his reputation. Meet Kevin. Thank you for free publicity. Oh, yeah. Me and some of his customers are going to give Kevin some great PR. He's a snake. <laughs> some props for his fine work as a collision repair guy. My car is, is falling apart, basically. And when we get done showing off his extensive felonies and great character. He saw me taking pictures, and he, he said some words that were very threatening. Collision Kevin is going to get so much publicity, he's going to want to make me his hype man. <laughs> Can I ask you about your body shop? Sure. What's going on with... Uh, I don't have a body shop. Uh, you don't have a body shop? This is Nicole. This is Nicole's daughter posing with the SUV mom bought her in 2018 to commute to college. This is a crash in 2019 on Telegraph Road in Redford. Luckily, Nicole's daughter wasn't hurt, but the Ford Escape didn't escape. And at the time that the police and the ambulance were there, he pulled up. Kevin Johnson. What luck, the crash occurred right in front of Orchard Restoration, Kevin Johnson's body shop. Nicole gave Kevin Johnson $2,000 to fix the car before school started in a week. But by October, the escape sat in Kevin's lot, and for some reason, it looked like pieces were being taken out of the engine. In November, the hood was taken off, the hood that hadn't even been damaged in the crash. In January, Nicole took these photos of the little SUV inside Orchard Restoration. Every time I went there, something was took off of it. Hmm. So, how's this finally end? He still has my car. No way. Nicole filed a police report and sued Kevin and was awarded a $6,100 judgment. But Kevin closed up the shop and hasn't paid her a dime. We have to try to find him. Well, you know I'm going to find him. And he's not even far away. Next, meet Niambi. I have a judgment for $5,800. Niambi had a 2016 Ford Fusion that was rear-ended. She had the car towed to Orchard Restoration. She handed Kevin a $4,000 cashier's check. Kevin said it would take two weeks. I waited two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. Niambi says Kevin hid behind the gate and wouldn't even let her see her vehicle. But Niambi was fed up. Kind of barged my way in. And when I saw my car, the front the front end was smashed. That's right, her fusion with rear end damage now had front end damage. So he said that the, pre, the tow truck company had damaged the car. But it just so happened the tow company had a policy of taking photos after dropping vehicles off. And as you can see, the front end of Niambi's car is just fine. Nambi had the Redford Police Department tow her car to another body shop, sued Kevin, won, but hasn't been paid squat. Plus, she reported him to the Michigan Secretary of State Business Licensing Section. State of Michigan um, contacted me back and said he doesn't even have a license to fix cars. He had my car for probably five months. Andre's known Kevin since high school. Thought he was a friend until Kevin started doing collision work on his Jeep. The insurance company paid for a new dashboard. It paid for a new bumper, it paid for a new hood. Why is my hood rusting out right now? My uh, dashboard peeling up. The Jeep store is now open with a grunt. And Andre groans every time he thinks about how Kevin Johnson ruined his vehicle. Andre, Niambi, and Nicole didn't know where Kevin was. His shop was closed and his phone was dead. But I got a tip about a secret body shop just down the road. There's no name on the place, but there is Kevin Johnson at the place. He popped into the junkyard of cars in front of the fence once in a while, but spent most of his time behind the gate where nobody could see him. When he did go out driving to a sandwich shop, a used car dealership, a liquor store, he always parked close to the door. He took different vehicles off his lot to run his errands, which his customers probably wouldn't appreciate, especially since Kevin Johnson doesn't have a valid driver's license. Here he is parking in a fire lane right by the front door at Home Depot. He's probably gonna load a pallet full of stuff into the back, right? Nope. A half hour later, he's out with a little bag. Oh well, if the truck got towed or ticketed, 
it's not his vehicle. Breaking rules is kind of Kevin's thing. So is breaking laws. The guy is a habitual offender, according to the Michigan State Police. He's been convicted of felony receiving stolen property, felony passing false titles on cars, felony taking money under false pretenses, felony passing non-sufficient fund checks, and felony failure to pay child support. And then there are the misdemeanors, stolen property, bad checks, and running a repair shop without a license. And he was convicted of driving without a license 25 times. And today, he's driving one of his customer's Cadillacs to the phone store. Time for me to put a dent in the collision guy's day. Can I ask you about your body shop? Sure. What's going on with, uh... I don't have a body shop. Okay, I'll play along for now. Okay, well, I gotta ask you about some customers of your orchard restoration shop. Niambi, you remember her? I know Niambi. Well, what happened to her car? She's got a judgment against you for like $6,000. You gonna pay her? No, because I fixed everything I could on her car. What about Nicole? You remember Nicole? I got a judgment for her, too. Nicole, I'll pay. But have a good... Well, hang on here. Talk to me for a minute. Kevin takes off, but a half hour later, we meet again. I came to talk to you. When Kevin comes after me, across the street from the mystery body shop, we've seen him at for weeks. So what's this business over here that we're That's seeing? somebody else. Whose car is this car, anyway? So you, you don't even have a driver's license, Kevin. I don't have what? You, you got your license is su- suspended, isn't it? Thank you for free publicity. You're welcome, Kevin. Welcome into the Hall of Shame. I spoke with Kevin Johnson on the phone last week. I wanted to find out about the shop he's currently working at, what it's called, who runs it, if it's licensed. Kevin said he'd have his lawyer call me. He never did. I did find Kevin's name on a company named Toyco LLC, which does have a repair facility license, but all Kevin would tell me was it's not his company. According to the Secretary of State, Toyco is on probation. If you have a beef with a repair shop, the Secretary of State has a complaint kit. You can find it on our website. This guy's got a long criminal record, mm-hmm. and it seems like he's up to shenanigans again. But you have to wonder why police haven't charged him with a crime regarding these cars. Right. Well, Nicole went to the Redford Police Department and reported her car stolen because she didn't get the car back. I didn't know when I was interviewing her that she hadn't gotten the car back. And she said that they said it was a civil matter, so she got a judgment, and of course she hasn't gotten paid a dime or anything like that. So, and she know, doesn't have a car. She doesn't have a car. Her daughter, it's her, it was a car she bought her daughter to go to college, and she had to buy her daughter another car, and she's got a $6,000 judgment, no car, and no money.